Hey, hi. Let me talk to you about full moon reset that we are going to do um, this month, month of November, and start next week on 17th of November, around full moon. That's why we call it full moon reset, because it's set around full moon, full moon the most potent time energetically um, uh, uh, um, in the months kind of thing and it's good time to do it any cleansing any resetting any letting goes and as you know full moons are quite strong anyway i would like to tell you what why it's good for you to do it and what it can do for you this full moon reset we've been doing them now for a while like i've been doing i started it in bali so it's been now a year and or something and some of us are doing it for a few months and it has become their kind of yoga and detox lifestyle because it becomes part of your routine part part of your life eh, sorry i thought i did something but i didn't it becomes the part of your lifestyle that's how you start living um, so what you do in these seven days it's only seven days it's not long but you're doing frequently so same like you go to gym you do you don't pump your muscles like from one session no way you know you can't grow your biceps just going to weight class from one session so you have to do it regularly same applies to everything in life to do so if you want to improve your health if you want to get rid of your chronic health ailments if you um if you want to just look better feel better um and also this full moon we're going to prepare our liver so we're going into preparation we're going to prepare our liver for the for the party season because christmas is going to get you <laughs> you know the food you're going to eat the drinks you're going to drink the late nights the stresses the the joys the everything that comes into this season it's quite it's quite intense so you rather prepare yourself to go into it so you can actually this smooth sailing through it you can go with ease and more joy than ever before because you go, you're going to get more energy by cleansing your liver by preparing your liver for all the toxins that you're going to take your liver can actually uh, can take it if not, then you end up sluggish and no energy and in a bad mood, low motivation and all this stuff that you know. And you get angry because liver is attached to um, emotional, this emotional and energet energetic um, field of anger. Anyway, so let me stick to my point because I end up just venturing <laughs> Far and wide with my thoughts and in my explanation because there's about around this topic there's so much to say so I'm just going to stick what these full moon resets can do for you if you do them every single month so as I was saying like you're going to gym every time you grow your muscles a little bit more so same with this every time you clean your body a little bit more you know just ask yourself when your last time you cleaned your house you know when your last time you cleaned your dishes like you know this morning maybe or you clean your house like last week properly. But when is your last time you actually cleaned your body? Apart from taking a shower, because shower is, shower is outside cleansing. But when, how, when was last time that you cleaned your body from within, from inside? Which means all your internal organs. So when it comes to liver, we're focusing on a liver. Liver is just crazy stuff. You, I done solid research on it because I'm just curious and I'm going down the rabbit hole. Like you open one sentence and that sentence has a three uh, little parts that would take me down. So I just end up researching and researching before and now even more so because I'm preparing um, the schedule and and the method for for our full moon which is starting next week on 17th so from before i knew that liver has a 500 functions it's not just detoxifier that's that's the function we know it detoxifies the toxins but has a other 500 functions it's involved in your hormones producing proteins related to your blood pressure ready to your skin everything whatever indirectly or um, directly whatever chemical processes in your body is happening liver is involved it's such an important organ to look after uh, and you know funny enough think about liver it's such a tricky one 
you only have a symptoms when you are when your liver fails 95% when you almost you have this cirrhosis they call it cirrhosis inflammation of your liver that there's no way back it's cirrhosis like four, stage 4 of the liver it's liver failure anyway so only then you might have a, a liver symptoms before that you have a body symptoms everything is not right in in your body like cholesterol high blood pressure skin rushes oh my god everything like allergies like asthma I, i'm not going to go down the list because its list is long every single um, chronic health ailment in your body that you have you can link back to liver and you start cleansing your liver everything kind of like a ripple effect starts getting better so um what I wanted to say is every single function of that in your body is linked to liver. So even your bad mood, you know, when you're angry and anger is stored in the liver, um, this, this kind of emotional, energetic realm of liver. Yoga talks a lot about it. And in yoga, you have, you have beautiful meditation, beautiful pranayama and beautiful asanas just to move the liver around. So that's what we do in our a full moon reset first we take care of the nutrition because you know you can help your liver heal with certain um, certain nutritional helpers but also you need to know how to remove the to toxins that are coming into your body and and then you enhance it all with meditation and pranayama and certain yoga postures in order for everything to to work together we, because the healing is not one-sided. Healing happens on every level of your, of your being. It happens on the mel mental level, emotional level, physical level, and uh, um, yeah, pranic level, uh, energetic level. Because yoga is holistic um, science, a scientific di discipline. Yoga takes you as a whole. So in these seven days, it would open your eyes how you can approach your, your, your life, your lifestyle. And literally, like this lifestyle word is such a abused word, if I may say. But if you really dissent, dissect it, if you really think of that lifestyle, what you do every day in order to help your body function better, your mind being clearer, your emotion being more in balance, like what you do every day to do it. Again, same, you're taking a shower every single day, you go to gym to grow your muscles, but what you do for the, the whole body to, to enhance your being, to have your life that is full of vibrancy and full of energy and you know when it's a great day you're still smiling it's not like you are great too <laughs> you're going great too no it's it's you remain in a in a higher vibration in a higher frequency and only from that state you attract better things in your life oh my god you see how i go in full circle now <laughs> it's everything is connected but you start from one thing and you start from these seven days of just paying attention you get your schedule so you know where to pay attention and what to focus on. You get your daily schedule, you get your shopping list and we start. And because it's a full moon, it's most potent time energetically to work on it. So if, you, if this resonates with you, if you really want to at least have a little sniff in it, <laughs> you know, just to see what's going on when you do that, please give me a call. Um, or DM me, PM me, reach me out. You know where to find me. I, um, I'm easily available, as I say. Like, not available, I'm easily available. So you can always uh, reach out to me. And spending seven days just to... Hey, hello. I have a little bug fly. Just uh, spending seven days on resetting yourself and you learn masses. New worlds open to you. And things you didn't know. And even, even the... Uh, you know, people are doing it many times now. There is beautiful Susie that is doing with us now. My God, since she's doing it now for seven times or something, maybe seven months. So it's seven months. Every single month she does it. Um, so, and she still learns. She still, there's always, because you're focusing on different stuff. So she still learns, you know, about this part of the body, about this part. This, and every single part, what we focus on takes a different route to heal. So you see, liver is completely different. So, you know, get on this week, prepare your liver for 
a Christmas party on a physiological level. And then in next live, next little video, I'm going to talk to you about energetic level, what liver does to you for your mood, <laughs> for your mood and for your energy, meaning your mood. If you have more energy, you are in a better mood, as you know that yourself. So you, you're willing to do things you, you, you're not usually um, kind of happy to do it, like procrastination kicks in <laughs> when you don't have energy. You always leave it for later. Anyway, um, I'm now talking 10 minutes, oops, um, 10 minutes already, so uh, that's enough taken out of your time. I hope you got a message and I hope to see you on our full moon reset next week, starting on Wednesday. Because, you know, we start, whichever full moon falls into, we start as we cannot choose the days. Days are given by universe. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to love you and leave you and um, see you next week. Reach out if you want to join us. Bye for now. Love you and leave you from beautiful London. It's nice autumn here. See ya.